Go. Three, two, one. Let it rip! <sighs> Come on, Turbo. Come on. There he goes. No. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Just because it's left does not mean I'm going to give in. How hard can it be? When I get out of here, I'm going to hurt you. Here we go! Oh, my God! Here we go, second run. Second run, and it's gonna be... Oh, it's one all! It's one all, the Ford's in one piece! Oops. Oh, dear. And so, to the good nights, I say good night. And to the two cars, I say good riddance. I reckon if we... Oh, hang on. Oh, that's... Oh, sh in weather like this, among scenery like that, holidaying in England, even in a motorhome, does make sense. Is that all right? Is this? We do have a magnificent flag in Britain. I mean, that one's on upside down, but beautiful flag. OK, let the journey commence. Oh, Lord. Oh, dear. Is that the Astra? Yeah, Is that it, was uh... a known fault that they would blow up sometimes. Don't you remember that? Yeah, I had yeah. two friends who had those and they blew up. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It's really annoying, because if you're late for something, oh. and then you're, I'll get in the car, bang, oh, it's, oh, dear. Yeah. So there we are. I mean, what we can deduce here is the German-made hatchback, the German-made hatchback has exploded and uh, all the British-made sports cars are working perfectly. Soon they'd taken out the engine and the onboard camera. You set fire to Dorsal! With your tracer! Stop it! Then their tracer round set fire to the car as well. We'll call it a draw! They seemed happy with that. Unlike, I suspect, the man whose car it uh was. Oh, Commander Clarkson, this is fantastic. I can see him right there, and he's painted. Have you got him? Yeah. You bastards! I'll just put him out of his misery, will you? Fire! I'm not sure. His bug-out vehicle was quite as strong as he may have led you to believe. Right. Another everyday irritation. Popping into the supermarket and coming out to find yourself blocked in. Again, no problem for the Marauder thanks to its vertical climbing system. Low range, four-wheel drive, div lock, put in drive. Handbrake off.
CD. Windows. Windows. Empty. It does work well as a brazier. It does, but that's what they were best at, because they spent far more time with braziers than they did making cars. It's true. 80 miles... 80! 80, 80 miles an hour! 90! Oh, my God! Despite his success, let's not forget we still had Jeremy on our side. I've lost control completely now. In the spirit... I'll be as steady as I can. Back a little bit. We are pumping! Yeah, we are pumping gas! Oh, yeah! It works! Oh, shit! What's happened? Hammond, right, you're on fire! Bail out! Oh, no! James, you bloody idiot! What we have here is a 1980s BMW hanging upside down eight feet from the ground. And what we're going to do is drop it. You wouldn't want to be in that if it fell from the crane upside down. If you were Richard Hammond, you'd be all right, but well, everybody yeah. else. Yeah, that's toast. The steering wheel is now touching the ceiling. So, let's see what happens when we drop a 1980s Saab 900 from the same height. God, I really wouldn't have believed that. I would not have believed that in a million years. Look at that. And I think you would probably be able to get out as well. That's stunning. I have. Let's give it a whirl. Pull! So we have four cubic metres of water in the bucket, which amounts to four tonnes at height. Then beneath it, you'll see we've found a car for scientific purposes. Let's see just how much damage that amount of water can do. Hmm, looks like rain. Yeah, pretty brutal. You drove like that on the public road, you deserve to be called a maniac! Oh, no! Beam me up, Scotty. Watch this, here we go. Oh, I see. That's clever. That's good. But if I miss the signs, I could just as easily miss all this. Yeah, OK, keep going. Oh, this is going to be... Oh. Keep going.
There you go. You idiot. What? Well, it's ruined. Yes, but I can't go on the motorway going the wrong way. No, we can't go anywhere because exactly. you exploded the car. We're alive. Everybody on that motorway is alive. This is the best solution ever. I've wet myself again. So you might want to put your fingers in your ears. I don't know where those two are or what they're plotting, but it won't work. This car is simply invincible. Bigger than I was expecting, Constable. Yes, sir, it was, sir. So, it turns out that velvet is impervious to magnets, but it is pervious to dynamite. <laughs> That's not... <laughs> Down a bit, down a bit, left a bit, left a bit, left, left, stop. Goodbye, Mr. Hugo. Fire. Simply drive up, hop aboard, and then we'll be on our way. Thank you. Fire! That was rubbish. <laughs> I mean, it was really good to watch, but it was just pathetic. Maybe it's not as heavy as I thought. Now, I've asked for 800. I think you've overdone it. Yeah, but there's plenty of elevation. I don't know how. Fire! Five. Was, I thought that was a superb drama, but only a five, <laughs> I'm afraid. I thought that was going in then. <laughs> there. And I'm now on 15. Yep. Strike through the... All right. Yep. yep. This is James's last car, and he is well in the lead. OK, James. Are you ready for I'm this? braced. Yes, yes, no! yes! <laughs> Oh no, a bus. It would be a tragedy if I were to hit that by mistake.
try and show us that hot hatchbacks are safer than our cars, the producers asked the Stig to get into a Citroen AX GT, which would then be dragged by a special cable into the side of a lorry at 50 miles an hour. Didn't do well at all, did it? Well, there it is. That's the benchmark. And that is... That's a fail, isn't it? That's a fail, yeah. OK, the engines are at full power, and here comes the Mondeo. Now, can they blow this one-and-a-half-ton car off course from 50 yards away? Three, two... Oh, blimey! There it goes! The Mondeo must have been blasted a good 50 feet, but we haven't finished yet. Well, that was a modern, streamlined aerodynamic car, so let's have another go now and see what happens when we let loose the Top Gear crosswind on something a little more, well, slab-sided. A Citroen 2CV. Big engine, lightweight hippie car. This should be fun. OK, here we go again. The engines are up to 58,000 pounds of thrust. The car is released. And three, two... Whoa, crikey! Yes, the 2CV really doesn't like crosswinds. I just say, we, joking aside, we don't like to upset any member of our audience, no matter how mad they might be, OK? <laughs> So we undertake never to destroy another Morris Marina as long as we are on the air. And, and in fact, we've gone one better than that because just this week we have been out and we have bought another Marina, OK? And um, it's a beauty. Really is, absolutely. Low mileage, leather seats. No, there's no woo about it. Leather seats. We brought it down. We've got it here. Look, this is live feed out to our track. And that is going to be preserved as an example of what... Oh, God! 